home of trophies, Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you the top weekly news of the Club of the Century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli head back to the top of the table with a 41 win over in Tag. Musiman expressed his satisfaction about Al Intag game. Walid and Kahraba secure Al Ahli victory over Ceramica. Musimani described Ceramica as a tough opponent. Al Ahli drawn in CAF Champions League Group A. Captain Al Khatib meets with Musimani and Abdel Hafiz. Al Ahli head back to the top of the table with a 41 win over in Tag which started the game with a frontline pressure to secure the opener and we had a dangerous scoring chance in the fourth minute, but Gahraba's shot missed the opponent's net. The minutes went by and the game was tightened in the midfield due to the strong pressure from Al Ahli and Ilintag Al Harbi. The second half started with a beautiful goal from Ali Malul, whose follow-up gave us the lead in the 48th minute. Walia passed the ball to his Shahad, who dribbled the goalkeeper, but failed to control the ball, which reached Malul, who put it in the back of the net. We kept our pressure to score the second goal, and again, we missed another scoring chance as Walia's shot went over the bar. Al Ahli controlled the game's tempo and succeeded to double the score after an impressive effort from Hussein Shahad. Shahad repelled Al Intag's defenders and shot the ball into the top corner to make it 2 0 for us. Our head coach Batsu Musimani used his bench in the minute 71 as Walid Suleiman, Tahir Muhammad Tahir, and Muhammad Sharif replaced Mualia Afshan Kahraba. Our veteran Walid Suleiman declared his arrival with a marvelous screamer in the minute 77 to make it 3 0. Our veteran Walid used his magic again to score the fourth goal from an impressive screamer to secure our victory. The minutes went by and the Red Eagles controlled the game's tempo until the referee blew his final whistle to declare another important win for us. Musimani expressed his satisfaction about Il Intag game. After Musimani being asked about the poor performance of Il Ali in the first half of the match, while team's revival in the second half, he explained that in football you cannot predict when will your team score goals, and it's a normal thing to get awakened in the second half that have to be accepted and continued speaking that the team is working on increasing the fitness level of some players in the team in order to reach FIFA Club World Cup and CAF Champions League group stage in the best shape. Walid and Kahraba secure Al Ahli victory over Ceramica. Last Friday, Al Ahli defeated Ceramica 2-0 in a match that was held in Suez Stadium in the fifth week of the Egypt League. The two goals were scored by Walid Suleiman and Kahraba. Musimani described Ceramica as a tough opponent. Musimani believes that Kahraba's second goal in Ceramica's match should not be disallowed. However, he declared that he don't want to have problems with the referees, who believed they were not in the best performance of the game. He then explained that the changes he made at the match to secure the victory, he moved Akram Tawfiq from the midfield to the right-back position to help create more scoring chances, in addition to moving Kahraba and Afsha to play in the midfield to put more pressure on the opponent. And so, secure a clean sheet and get the three points again at a tough opponent. Al Ahli drawn in CAF Champions League Group A. The CAF Champions League Group stage row, which was held in Cairo on Friday, put Al Ahli in Group A. The Red Eagles have been drawn in Group A of this season's CAF Champions League Group stage, along Congo's AS Vita Club, Tanzania Simba and Sudan's Il Marich. Al Ahli were placed in part one of the draw. As we opened our participation in the competition this season with a 5-0 win on aggregate over AS Sonny Dip in the round of 32 to book a place in the group stage. 
Captain Al Khatib meets with Musibani and Abdel Hafiz. Al Ahli's President Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib held a meeting with our manager Patsy Musibani and the club's director of football Said Abdel Hafiz to discuss several important files, including the team's plan for the upcoming period. Moreover, Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib showed his full support to our first team and affirmed that the club's board would provide everything needed to our team. Finally, Al Ahli's president concluded his meeting by stating that Al Ahli's ambitions don't end by winning one or two titles, but the club should always look forward to winning all competitions that our team participates in. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiyah Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.